This video introduces the River Bathymetry Toolkit Thalweg tool. The goal of this tool is to find the deepest, highest flow part of the channel through a section of river. I've opened ArcMap, I've got a detrended DEM that I produce using the RBT. I've also loaded uh, the Banks polygon that I produce from the Bankful tool and the centerline that I produce from the centerline tool. So what you're finding here is that on the RBT bank, Bankful centerline men menu, these videos have worked down through the tool, starting with detrending, moving on to the Bankful tool to produce uh, Banks Polygon, then using uh, the Centerline tool to get a Centerline, and now I'm showing you the Thalweg tool. So I'll go ahead and open this. Uh, the tool's already pre-selected uh, my Banks and Centerline based on the features I have in my table of contents. I can load the detrended DEM here. The tool requires a pull weight, which the higher this value is, the more it's going to pull the Thalweg into deep sections of the channel. So the default is 10, but if I were to increase this up to 40, the Thalweg will get pulled into the outsides of bends and into deep pools. And so we can play with this here. I'm just going to increase that to 20. Uh, the low pass none uh, runs a filter on the DEM before uh, actually running the tool just to take a uh, slight uh, perturbations and noise out of the DEM to try to keep the, the Thalweg uh, fairly straightforward and smooth. Um, and then we can choose to uh, smooth the Thalweg out just using the regular kind of ArcGIS smoothing tool. Uh, I'm going to increase my smoothing here to about 20 meters. This is a 3 meter pixel DEM. So I know this is going to produce a fairly, a fairly smooth uh, Thalweg when it comes out. Uh, the output Thalweg is put in the same workspace as the banks polygon, uh, one of the inputs. And so what this is doing is actually doing a fairly straightforward uh, cost path analysis of moving down the channel where passing through deeper parts of the channel is uh, deemed uh, more beneficial. So the tool's finished and it's added our Thalweg to the map. Uh, it's come in here in green so I'm going to turn off the center line and you can see here how the Thalweg actually uh, meanders through and actually follows some of the deeper parts of the channel. I can turn off the uh, turn off the center line there, and if I turn the yeah if I turn the center line back on, you can actually see where the two deviate. So zooming in here on a slight part of the channel, uh, I'll just flick uh, banks on and off. You'll see that the red line follows the geometric center of the banks, whereas the Thalweg is actually meandering and following uh, the deeper parts. So that's the Thalweg tool of the River Bathymetry Toolkit.